Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pamela Osborne. Breaking right now on Detroit's west side, police are looking for a man they say fired shots at officers. This is happening in the area of Linden and Bramall. Jacqueline Francis is live with what we know so far. And Jacqueline, police gave an update within the last hour. Get us up to speed. Pamela, that they did. As you can see, this is a very active search scene. Police have set up a perimeter a quarter mile wide. They do believe the suspect to be armed after they say he opened fire at officers. Around 8.30 Friday night, Detroit police were investigating a vehicle when they say a man got in the car with a weapon. They went to initiate a traffic stop when gunshots rang out. At some point during that, the time they tried to initiate, shots were fired at the officers. Um, the officers initiated a short pursuit. The pursuit lasted about a mile and a half, um, ending in the area of Bramall and Linden. No officers were hit and police did not return fire. As for the suspect, police say the man ran from the car, which is when the search began. So right now, um, the suspect we're looking for is a white male. He's um, 5'9", 180 pounds. Um, we, he's wearing a bubble jacket. He's at large. Uh, we are looking for him. Um, we are considering him to still be armed. We, we have not recovered a weapon at this time. Michigan State Police and its helicopter are assisting in the search. Right now, we're really trying to institute the, the Detroit safe, the safer Detroit protocol that uh, Chief White has put in place. And part of that is technology. So um, shot spotter notification did go off. It did register based off of this as well. Um, and it's one of those things that we're using to try to help keep the area safe, to keep the community safe. And while we've even been out here during this whole perimeter, we've been getting a lot of calls from um, the community telling us what they've seen and they may have seen somebody jump through a gate or some. So we just want to encourage that. Police do have an idea about who this person is, but they are not releasing those details at this time. They got that info from talking with the woman who was in the car with the suspect. Again, they say the suspect is thought to be armed and he is still at large. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, thank you for that update. DTE Energy is working to get the power back on for thousands of customers. About 90% of DTE customers. Let's talk or take a look at the numbers themselves. 186,000 are without power right now. But I commit to you that the thousands of men and women at DTE, along with our in-state and out-of-state partners, will continue to work around the clock until each and every customer is restored. Customers Energy reports that there are about 108,000 of its customers without power at this hour. Time now for a look at the weather. Forewarned meteorologist Brian Sherman is in with a look at some snow that may be coming our way or at least some wintry weather uh, come the start of the work week, Brian. Yeah, that's right, Pamela, especially late Sunday night into Monday. Until then, we will keep the dry weather under the forecast for everybody. Tower cam over downtown Detroit. We've kept a little bit of that cloud cover and still a little breezy. Old glory there blowing very briskly in the wind outside this evening. Setting at 33 right now here in Detroit, 29 over in Ann Arbor 30 as you're working over into Howell and 29 right now checking in with us over in Adrian compared to where we were this time last night before the snow moved in. We're running anywhere from 8 to upwards of 10 to 13 degrees warmer, even 18 degrees warmer working into Port Huron and expect that warming trend to continue as we head into our Sunday holding on to a little cloud cover off to the north. Other than that, sunshine's on the way for tomorrow. We'll warm into the upper 40s by tomorrow afternoon. Much more on that wintry weather on the way. Your full forewarn forecast coming up in just a few minutes. And if you were in downtown Detroit today, you may have noticed a lot of activity at that ice rink in Campus Martius. Jamie Edmonds is joining us now with more on what was going on down there today. Well, Pam, this is such a wonderful organization. Figure skating in Detroit in its sixth year, and the Skating with the Stars event is the biggest fundraiser. I was there, so I can vouch for it. Let's see what happened today. <laughs> There were a lot of cheers and a ton of smiles as the girls of figure skating in Detroit performed at the rink at Campus Marches. 
this performance just a portion of the day's events. There was also a panel discussion with female Olympians, hockey player Kendall Coyne Schofield, hurdler Candace Price, and of course Olympic gold medal ice dancer Meryl Davis. Every year, the organization hosts its Skating with the Stars event to raise money for academic programming, field trips, uniforms, equipment, and ice time. We always say our girls are the next leaders here in Detroit. They're going to they're gonna grow up and be awesome, and then they're going to come and give back to the city of Detroit. Right now, the organization has about 50 girls ages 6 to 18, and there's always room for more. It's awesome. They teach you. It's more than just skating. It's about all the girls, and we get a lot of opportunities, a lot of great opportunities. And if girls are watching this on TV, you would say what? I recommend you all to join figure skating in Detroit because it's it's more than skating. It's everything. I love this organization so much. They're also looking for donations and sponsorships from maybe businesses. I'll put all that information on clickondetroit.com. And like I said, I was out there. I put on the old figure skates. Oh, you did? Tried a couple moves, uh -huh. but it made me feel like, oh, I should practice before I do anything <laughs> like that again. Well, I think they'll probably do it again, so you have time to practice. I'm available. All right, <laughs> sounds good. Thank you, Jamie. We really, really appreciate it. So much more to come here on Local 4 News at 11. Here's Priya. Building bunk beds for families in need. We'll show you how a Metro Detroit nonprofit is giving back in a big way.